Continuing our review of various car trays, I found one that I think I really will enjoy. It's called Car Tray. It's very much in the vein of our friend Arash's desk wedge, which will uh, work on the Model 3 for your MacBook or a really small lunch. But uh, we don't have a Model 3. So we reached out uh, and, and purchased this car tray. It came with this nice holder. It's got these various silicone grips. Unlike the previous car tray we reviewed, the Kimo, uh, it won't scratch the steering wheel materials. You also won't need to rotate your steering wheel upside down like the Kimo and a bunch of other uh, and a bunch of other car trays. This car tray, stand by. That's me. We just double checking for the order. Again. Okay, cool. Yeah. So the car tray also comes with some, in addition to this nice packaging, it comes with a nice handy set of utensils, a straw, and a straw cleaner. Let's keep that in the front pouch. Now, what we've been waiting for, the car tray. So it's got two sides and it's got pass-throughs for your uh, cables, like for charging your phone or your tablet. It also, yes, thank you, parking mode. It also happens to count for your utensils. So when you've got it in eating mode, you can put the fork and the knife and the, or, and the spoon in the various holes. One thing that's nice about the car tray is it'll hold your phone in horizontal or vertical, whereas on some of the other ones I've showed you, it'll only hold them in vertical. So let's start with, while well, we wait for the food, start with it in desk mode. You just slip it up on your steering wheel like so, and you're good to go. It's good for 15 pounds, or they use the example of six Chipotle burritos. So pretend this was a laptop instead of an iPad. And it's very easy to use to do your work. They do suggest that you find a comfortable spot and seating position, and then you save it as a new profile called car tray. So that way it's already ready to go when it comes time for your, um, your work or your meal. So nice little place to put the pencil. And then you can adjust the silicone grips to the various sizes. It doesn't just have to be a Tesla, which is nice. That way we've got it in food mode. We can put our food here. I'll give you an example of that in a minute. And it's got these little rings for condensation. That way your drink doesn't get water puddling all over everything. Let's take a look at these uh, utensils here. Oh, that's the best way to put a knife. And then the straw would obviously be in your drink. I'm wondering if these would be, either they've redesigned these or if these are for the plastic um, disposables that you get with your meal. We'll find out in a moment. Okay, so I talked about how you could have your phone in various positions. So you can also run the car tray on the top of the steering wheel. Let's put it in food mode. Grab my phone. And I can either put it like this or like this. So I can watch a movie or whatever, although I would probably watch a movie on here. But for whatever reason, I could put the phone here in like video chat or something. It works better without the case just because I got the Chunky Boy phone, the Samsung Galaxy S20 Plus Ultra, whatever. So it fits fine there. Doesn't fit so well there. Let's see. 
Let's try it in desk mode. Okay, it works there. Not so much there. But you see, the other thing is, <laughs> with this particular case I have, it's got a foot. So I can just use regular desk mode in the higher position and it'll be fine. Although that doesn't solve the uh, vertical mode. So this would be good for like video calls. And so then let's try out some of the other stoppers that we've got here. Let's try some of the larger ones, I guess. Got a little bit of a rip to them. Food's here. Here you go, sir. Thank you. Alrighty. You have a good one. Okay, nice. Thank you. Well, the cicadas are serious. All right, and then just slide that on there. Oh, well, they showed it sliding. I think you might be able to get away with just putting it on there. It's like I removed it with. Yep. So you can slide it or just squeeze it on there. So it's a thicker one. And another thicker one. That's how the slide works. Gets up to a lot of friction. Ah, Try not to just cheat again like I did the last one. All right, so my method is gonna be to just squeeze them on there rather than sliding them on there. All right, so let's see how we like the thicker model. Yeah, it's got a little bit better of a grip. Put these back in here. We'll put our beverage here. Our impossible burger here. And we can see that it holds quite nicely. Ah, french fries. <laughs> they don't have any sauce for them. I'll have to call them back and get the seasoning. And then I've got my Impossible Burger and we're good to go. So as I said, I bought this myself, but I did get a referral code. So if you purchase the car tray from the link down below, they'll know that I sent you. And uh, if there's any promotions or anything for it, then you'll get whatever's current. One way that this differs from the other solutions that I've talked about so far, the MC up tray, the Macaulay tray, that, that one sits in the cup holders, it would be better for the passengers. The Kibo tray is a little more budget option, but then like I said, you'll have to do a little modification to make sure it doesn't scratch your steering wheel, especially if you have uh, a leather on it. So you'll want to put some felt on that one. The scent wedge, great product, great guy, but I don't have a Model 3 or a MacBook, so it's not, it's not for me yet, but I'd be glad to do a review of it. I'll have to borrow somebody's Model 3 or Model Y and we'll take care of that. But uh, so the, the car tray for me is a good universal solution. It works in various models. I don't know, actually I do know. <laughs> it looks like it would be, be very nice on the yoke, assuming that the yoke doesn't have... Don't hit me, don't hit me. Why did you, there's all these other spaces. It looks like it'll even work on the Roadster or Cybertruck or the new SNX with the yoke steering wheel because it just uses this much room to touch the, uh, the surface and then it touches the face. So it should be good to go. Luna and I are here at the Smithfield, North Carolina Supercharger and we're enjoying ourselves a uh, Impossible Burger with the courtesy of the car tray. Not that car tray paid for it, but we're enjoying it because the car tray 
is making it possible to sit here and watch YouTube theater while we eat it. So this is the car tray. I give it good marks. Catch you on the flip side. Here's some videos that uh, YouTube thinks you'll enjoy. What? <laughs> See my face. I don't know. I'll, I'll do it again. Um.